All right, here we go. We are back with Hero Quest. Frozen Throne. Frozen Horror. Whatever one it is. This was the most requested thing to do. I had started this well, well over a year ago. And I don't know why I never finished it until I realized, oh man, I need to finish this. And we're going to start doing all the Hero Quests again now that we're back at it on the channel. As always, thank you to all my YouTube members. You guys are absolutely amazing. Can't thank you guys enough. Um, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that uh, thumbs up, and hit the bell so you get alerted whenever we do videos. We do two videos a week. Unfortunately, I have to work. But without further ado, let's go. Also requested is putting a picture up of what we're painting to match the card art. This is the only one I could find on the internet. I couldn't, I don't know why. But this is the card of the Polar Aware Bear. We're going to try and match this as best we can. So the first thing we're going to do is I did a priming and zenithal highlighting. Um, obviously, you're going to do it all in black and then spray from some gray and then white. We're going to put a Mechanicus Standard Gray all over the fur areas of our miniature. If you get it on the other stuff, it really does not matter. Do not worry about it. Next, we are going to do some gray sear. Now, get this over 90% of it. If you leave some of that gray Mechanicus Standard Gray underneath it, perfectly fine. Not a big deal. We're making that gradient of dark gray, lighter gray to white. Next, we are going to use some dry brushing, some Prexetti White. If you don't have Prexetti White, just use regular white. That's all it is. It's just a dry brush version for Citadel. It's kind of fancy. It's not really. It's just kind of a waste of money. Just use white. Next, we're going to create our slurry. I did a 50-50 mix of Nolan Oil and Lamia Medium. You can just do straight Nolan Oil if you want. I just try to dull it down just a little bit. Uh, to make the known oil not so pungent, I guess you could say, or strong, but you can do either or. Uh, slap it all over that fur area that uh, is all over our polar wear bear. And then once completely dry, we're going to do another dry brushing of the Prexetti white or white, whatever you have. And that's all we're doing for the fur. So if you want to make it whiter, you can. Like a more bright white, if you've got it, you can do that. So it's pretty white though. It's it's pretty I'm trying to make it look a little dirty and grayish white. Now that's what I filmed over a year ago, and I just realized that I never finished painting this miniature. I thought I'd finished everything in that, but I didn't. So now we're back to the new camera, back to the new way of doing things. This is speed paints and all our stuff. So we're gonna do Sagar Brown on our club area. For all of our leather bits, we're going to use some snake bite leather. Now we're going to do some regular paint mixed in with some contrast paint. Again, we got to, unfortunately, we can't paint every single day for hours a day, even though I would like to. Mrs. Nerd Knights might want to throw me in a trash can if that was the case. But, so we got to kind of try and speed things up when we can to not sacrifice too much. So we're going to do all of the leather areas um, in snake bite leather. For our two palms, we're going to use a little bit of wild wood. There's one that you can barely see on the right hand, and then you obviously can see the left-handed one. A uh, couple areas here, we're going to use some black lesion. We're going to use inside the ears, the nose um, that I forgot to do in this shot so it's going to be you'll see it pop up here in a little bit uh all of the nails to include the foot nails i guess you could say claws not really nails you know what i mean uh those areas
for like the it's not fur i guess it is fur that our polar werebear is like got on by its belt area we're gonna use a little bit of skeleton brown or skeleton horde sorry now if you would like to see more of these hero quest expansions please leave a comment <clears throat> please let me know which expansion you want me to start with if i get enough requests for one thing i'll just do it i just want to see what people want to see painted so please let me know um once you're good with the skeleton horde we're going to take some briar queen's chill we're going to paint those cloth areas in the front and the back Uh, the club, according to the card art, if you want to go back to the front and then look at it again, uh, it's got some red. Now that area below the one order paint right now might be red as well, but I painted it brown. I couldn't tell. Uh, once you're good with that, we're going to use a little bit of Volupus Pink on the tongue area. And that's it. We're doing for Volupus Pink. Now we'll start working on the focal point of this miniature. Now obviously be a little careful next to the fur areas. You don't want to get the fur because you really can't go back over it. You can, but... Uh, just be careful. So, Grey Knight Steel on the interior of our pauldrons and the wrist guards, I guess you could say. Then we're going to do the rest of the metal in Iron Warriors. Now, I know what you're thinking. This really doesn't match the card art. Trust me, it will in the end, and this is what makes it really stand out. Uh, I watched a video not too, too long ago. I don't even remember who it was, but... This method of painting armor to me is probably the best way with that dark, dark armor color on the bottom <clears throat> and then the very bright color or brighter color once you do the washes. So do all your armor areas. We're going to do a spin around here at the end of this frame. Uh, coming down to the last two base paints, we're going to use those teeth with a little bit of more gas bone, and then we're going to go into the eyes, the pupils, and we're going to paint them white, and you'll obviously see why here in a little bit. That'll be it for our uh, base paints, base colors, I guess you could say. Uh, we're just doing two washes, your two basic washes. We're going to do Agrax Earthshade, and we're only doing this on the teeth. <clears throat> you don't really need this, per se, because there's not enough like recesses and stuff to really look into, but whatever. Uh, we are, however, going to use Nuln Oil all over our metal pieces. Not the Grey Knight Steel portion, just the dark metal. That is it. Do not get into that Grey Knight Steel. For our eyes, we are going to do Pyler Glacier, and you're just going to take a dollop of it and just put the drop in the eye. That's all you're doing. Nothing crazy. And now highlighting of the armor. Now we're going to take regular lead belcher, and you're going to put this basically all over. If you wanted to do an edge dressing on the pauldrons, that would work too. Um, but we're just going to put this all over the armor. This is going to have that nice dark undertone armor look mixed in with that brighter lead belcher on the top look so follow along i'd say the only thing that we're not going to fill in with this is the uh, kneecaps so do the edgings of the kneecaps but then don't do the interior of the kneecap if that makes any sense whatsoever um, and then obviously we're only doing parts of the spike pick one part of the spike paint it with the ledge belcher and keep the other side with the iron warriors just kind of give it some contrasting of the dark metal versus the light metal That's what she looks like right there, very nice. Uh, 
Uh, for your teeth, uh, probably a little bit more than we need to do. We're going to do a reapplication of Morgas Bone, and then an application of Ushabdi Bone, and then an application of Screaming Skull. Not really that noticeable because, again, the teeth are just kind of meh. They're nothing crazy. They're not really accentuating. They're not really out there. So you could probably just get away with doing more gas bone again or just doing a quick one of Ushabdi bone and you probably wouldn't know the difference but I went with all three uh, it's up to you Coming down to the wire here, we're gonna put a little bit of blue horror in those eyes, just a little bit, like where the pupils will go, just kind of brightens them up just a little bit. And then we're gonna use this uh, blue horror on just some of the raised areas on our uh, tabard, covering our rear and the front. Uh, don't go overboard with it, just gives it a little bit of pop, nothing crazy. Uh, finally, we're doing the base, and we're going to put a little bit of Basilicanum Gray all over that. That white should really stick through. Um, and then you can put down some snow effect if you want. I just kept it as that. I just, I don't know. That's what I felt. Uh, and then your favorite part of painting this miniature, because it means you're done, some Abaddon Black on the rim, or whatever you want to paint it. It's just what I do. Uh, and that's it. That's nothing too crazy. You got two of them to paint. Not too shabby. Doesn't uh, doesn't take a lot. The armor is the focal point, and that's all you're really looking for. Uh, so we're back at it with the uh, Hero Quest. And let me know, please, 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 let me know what you want. What expansion do you want? We've done the main one, and then we've done the Frozen Throne, Frozen Horror, whatever it is. What do you want to see next? Leave me a comment. I'll get it. And if I get enough comments for one thing, I will. Uh, start painting that. So thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one. Paint on!